Here's the thing with that, right, though, is that uh, Hunter had asked me last night, I think you had had the question to me, basically, why, what's the importance of title reps, what's the difference, why should we use ours? This is a great example right here. This is an example of that particular title rep. They, while they may be great, right, maybe good, been doing it a long time, is extremely bogged down. They're working with an investor right now that is just shoving deals down their pipeline. Clearly don't have the infrastructure in place. So this is now a situation where when we get an offer, we will not be accepting that title because of things like this where they can't communicate with us, right? We don't know. That's a, that's a title document that we don't know about. We don't know what's been received, what's not, right? We rely heavily on them to give us the communication on that. Had we been told two weeks ago, hey, just so you know, update, we're still pending this and this and this from your client, we could step in, we can make sure that that's taken care of and we don't find out a day before closing that they don't have the documents they need to close a day before, right? So that's where it comes back to, right? Why do I need my title? Or why do I need a title rep that's trusted? Or if this rep I know I've worked with numerous times on multiple transactions as we have, and we're running into this problem with multiple transactions, why would we go forward with that? Is that in the best interest of our seller or our buyer to work with that person if we know that they're bogged down and they're not gonna get the deal done for us? That's not a good seamless experience for our client. We don't want that. Thankfully, I can tell my client that all this faith in us to light a fire underneath their ass to get it done but I will say had she been under contract on a residential home that was dependent on this home selling to get her into her next one tomorrow or whatever it may be she really would have been fucked like she would have been homeless you know so it would have been a domino effect so I will not be using that escrow officer <laughs> and her team Moving ever again. And they just need they just need better infrastructure inside, right? That's just a situation where they don't have the people there to handle it. They probably, if they're getting that much volume, should have you know extra people on hand to help out, to review files, to stay on top of it. Um, this is a situation where if you get an if we get another offer because we have done quite a bit of business with this uh, investor, right we're gonna we're gonna say no, no. If you want this purchase moving There's forward, no we're not working with that anymore because it has severely inconvenienced our clients at this point, and they've proven that. Does that make sense? Great way right there. Flip side of that, like our title rep that we work with, and we've been through a few of them. I mean, we've gone and turned and burned some that have, the communication is gonna be the key thing, right? To make a transaction go as seamless as possible for our buyers or our sellers, it's communication from top to bottom, communication from us, our part, right? What we're doing on our end, communication from the lender on what they're doing on their end, and communication from the title. Those are the big three parts moving in a transaction. We all have to work with each other and communicate to make it as seamless as possible. If we're not communicating with either one of those, they're not communicating with us, there's going to be gaps in that, right? And it's, from a client's experience and standpoint, it's not going to be smooth. So that's where we need to pick our vendors wisely and who we're working with. We've had vendors, like I've had vendors myself when I was a solo agent individually doing two to three deals a month. Phenomenal. No problem at all. Started scaling up, pushing five, six, seven a month to them. Guess what? Their service fell off because they didn't grow at the pace that I had grown or we had grown. Couldn't keep up with our volume. Doesn't mean that they're not good at what they do on a lower level, right? It just means they can't keep up with volume and at that point bogs them down and it makes them not as great. I'm sure that's a situation with what we're running into on this individual title rep. Probably great at what she's been doing. Been doing it for a while. She just can't handle you know it's like trying to drink from a fire hose right now probably okay,